Hello everyone, my name is Spice and welcome back to another episode of my Calamity Death Mode series. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 29th episode and once again a massive thank you for the support in the last episode and indeed for the series so far my friends. It is very, very much appreciated. Now before we go any further, I just want to quickly announce just on here that uh, yes, I have my Minecraft channel back up and running. So if you guys are missing the Minecraft content on this channel, then head over to Python MC. There'll be a link on screen and in the description if you so wish to check that out but shameless plugging aside we have spherical mango who says i highly recommend the dark light greatsword it's a very good hard mode weapon which inflicts the frostbird debuff it is auto swing i think and shoots projectiles not a bad idea um as well as that, we also have the suggestion to make ourselves the biome blade, which, you know, is something we could probably do as well. But let's check it out. What was it? The dark light greatsword. Let's have a look. So we need cryonic bars, fallen stars, a soul of night and a soul of light. Very easy to get. Now, if I would just remind myself... 16 cryonic ore will allow us to make ourselves a cryonic bar. We're going to need ourselves an adamantite or titanium forge to do that as well. Uh, but I'm just trying to remember. I think either an adamantite or titanium pickaxe will indeed allow us to pick up cryonic ore. So, we have a cobalt pickaxe. I'm not so sure that we have enough to make ourselves a mithril pick no we don't sadly we're gonna need to go back down we're gonna need to pick up some more mithril ore uh do we have ourselves any spelunker potions i just need the one uh boop. yep there we go oh yeah we already had some i was just in the wrong area anyways that's all good so we're gonna start off the episode by getting ourselves some mithril we're then gonna make ourselves a mithril pickaxe and then go for a titanium or adamantite pickaxe and from there on in everything should hopefully be looking good but in terms of looking good my friends i'll tell you what it is looking good a brand new calamity update the 1.3 update is here i'm using it right now and check it out there was a brand new boss down here the aquatic scourge now as far as i remember this is due to a new biome being added but since i have an old world sadly i can't really explore that biome unless i generate a brand new world uh which i may be tempted to do i mean i'm not going to stay on the new world we're going to of course stay on this world you know on a permanent basis but uh, just for the sake of being able to explore the new stuff i think you know temporarily having a new world would be a nice idea and in terms of progression it is done after the destroyer and before skeletron prime so, so sort of in the middle of the mechanical bosses which is pretty interesting so i'll be very interested to check that out in a future episode but for now i need to carry on and try to find myself some mithril so guys let me go ahead and grab some mithril we'll meet you guys back at base we can make ourselves a pickaxe and then start going for some titanium wait what what is this i don't know what all that is Oh, I can't mine it either. Interesting. It would appear we either have a brand new ore. Ah! Okay, that almost killed me. <laughs> it appears we have a brand new ore, which I've... Well, I mean, at the very least, I don't think I've ever seen it before. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Be interested to see what that is and uh, how we actually mine it. But uh, in the meantime, why don't we head down here where there is indeed a bunch of awesome stuff. Hey, I just realized the flare bolt's got a brand new sprite. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet! Alright, and here's the mithril. Uh, got a decent amount here. Oh, goodness me. Go on, get out of it. There you go. Fantastic. But uh, yeah, guys, if you, uh, if you want to go ahead and grab yourself the brand new Calamity update, I would highly advise visiting either the Calamity Discord or also the Calamity mod page on the Terraria community forums because that is where the download is hosted. I'm not entirely sure if it's on the mod browser just yet, but for now, at the very least, you can obtain it from the uh, from the mod page <laughs> oh wow okay oh these freaking dudes man i tell you something they're a bit nuts i tell you they're a bit nuts all right so mithril bar yes there we go how many 19 right and there it is my friends the mithril pickaxe that's all we needed and it's already got plus speed on it which is absolutely brilliant hey not bad all right and now we'll be able to grab ourselves some titanium and, and some various other bits and bobs amazing stuff all right so, from memory, we need ourselves 30 ore in order to be able to make ourselves a titanium forge. And then from there, we need ourselves um, quite a lot of bars to be able to make ourselves the... Uh, Wait, it was adamantite, wasn't it? We've got adamantite on this one. So, uh, adamantite picks? Pickaxe? Adamantite pick? 
Uh, oh, right, I've got this, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a bit dumb, I think. Come on, bro, you're supposed to know better than this. Adamantite pickaxe, it is 18 bars, which I believe is 18 times 5, so a grand total of, what, 90 ore? So a grand total of 120 adamantite ore is required to be able to do this, and therefore grant us the ability to hopefully mine up the cryonic ore in the snow biome. So guys, let's head back down, let's try and find ourselves some of that beautiful adamantite. Cursed dagger? Wait, what? 40 throwing damage. That's awesome. We just picked this up from one of those cursed grabber dudes. That's pretty cool. All right. So in addition to that, we got ourselves our first bits of adamantite, which is kind of awesome. Good day to you, sirs. Oh, my goodness me. Right. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. We just need to, just need to stay alive. There we go. Fantastic. All right. And get down here so we can pick up this little, uh, this little splodge of adamantite. The more we get, obviously, the better. I'm not going to spend too long doing a bunch of mining in today's episode. It is all about upgrades once again because the more upgrades we get, the more we'll be prepared for cryogen, which of course is, in terms of progression, the first boss we have in the hard mode, uh, death mode thingy thing. Mate, this all looks amazing. Very, very interested to know what it is, so that'd be kind of awesome to find out eventually. All right, boys, let's continue on. Uh, I imagine the further down we go, the more chance we'll have of finding ourselves some adamantine. And like I say, 20 is the amount I am, not 20, uh, sorry, I meant, uh, how many do I need? It's, it's something else. Uh, is that? Yeah. Adamantite everywhere. 120. That's right. That's how much we need. 120. Ah, right, boys. Uh, there's a little bit up there as well. So let's go up there. Oh, there's a skeleton merchant as well. <laughs> how you doing there, buddy? How you doing? I'm just coming over here, just casually taking over all of this stuff here. Because I kind of want it. I kind of need it. We're up to, what, around 40 bits right now? Not bad. Not bad. This is pretty cool. All right, buddy. And as far as I know, you should have the yo-yo glove, right? Yeah! And the format C! Yeah! Alright, let's buy all of this stuff. I mean, if we switch ourselves over to a yo-yo loadout, which, you know, we, we might wind up doing in future, you never know, then, you know, we've got all of the stuff in order to get ourselves up to the point where we can have some awesome stuff, right? You know, yo-yo bag, all that kind of stuff. That's kind of awesome. Alright, let's continue on, folks. We're looking for some more adamantite. Alrighty, guys, and I think this might just about be the last amount of adamantite I need. Yep, 121. There we go. Fantastic. And I believe that little guy down there is a mimic, according to the creature detector. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, I love the amount of money you get from those dudes. Fantastic. All right, boys. We're good. Uh, it is a blood moon, but we can soon sort that out. There we go. <laughs> get wrecked, son. All right, so let's go chuck everything in here. We could probably make ourselves an absolute ton of stuff at this point. Oh, my word. And we've got three of these to open. Hey, a mechanical skull. A free summon. Not bad. And a bunch of souls of light as well. Fantastic. All right. So... Adamantite Forge. If I put, if I take out the whole forge and then put that in there like that, I should be able to make ourselves. Yeah, there we go. The Adamantite Forge, and that now goes in there, so we can now make ourselves Adamantite Bars. And I also realised, check this out. We can transmutate the titanium bars also into Adamantite, which is fantastic. And there we go, my friends. The Adamantite Pickaxe is. Oh my God, it's a light one. That's the best speed prefix you can get. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, we've been really, really lucky again with the reforges today. Absolutely brilliant. Ah, uh, boys, so let's go ahead and bring out... Uh, I'm going to get two Spelunker potions this time because we're going to head over to a snow biome. In other words, this area here. We're going to go down into the depths. We're going to see if we can't find ourselves a ton of cryonic ore. And by having a titanium pickaxe... Sorry, not titanium. The adamantite pickaxe. We should be able to start making ourselves some truly epic stuff with that. Including the sword that you guys were talking about about so let's go ahead do we wait we don't even have ourselves like a proper snowy cave entrance that's interesting well i guess we're gonna have to make one aren't we guys so i mean i'm not too fussed about that i don't have any quarrels with that if you get what i'm saying uh well they're saying that maybe maybe this place down here is a good place to start so why don't we get over there we're gonna head underground ladies and gentlemen and we are going to try and find ourselves some beautiful cryonic ore oh wait what I was just going to bring you guys back just to say that we found some cryonic ore, but there's some, there seems to be some sort of temple down there. 
Oh my god! Oh, I need to take this torch with me. Apparently, I don't have any torches on me. That's that's brilliant, isn't it? All right, so let's get down here. Uh, chuck down the torch right there, just so we can see a little bit. Oh my god, dude! There's a natural temple here. What? Okay, we gotta we gotta see what's going on in here because uh, this is something I've never seen before. I don't know. Had like has my world has its uh, like world gen updated or something? Hey. What's this? Arctic diving gear. Grants the ability to swim and greatly extends underwater breathing. Provides light underwater and extra mobility and ice. Oh, man. That's sick. Okay. And we can make that into the abyssal diving gear. Which I believe is something to do with a brand new bind we've got going on here. Reduces the damage caused by the pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Hey! Hey, I'm trying to read here. You son of a gun. Hey, go on then. You want to go? Oh, what the hell? An ice clasper. Essences of helium, 12 gold. Wow, that's that's pretty nuts, actually. But yeah, that that, that thing can be made into uh, many other epic things, and I'm looking forward to <laughs> exploring that. Wow, that's a lot of money as well. Good God. Right, does this go, like, does this go down? <gasps> what? You've got snow shrines now? What? This is sick. Oh, my God. All right, let's continue going. Oh, oh, baby. Oh my god, this is amazing! I don't know whether this is part of the Calamity 1.3 update, but if it is... I mean, either way, this is fantastic! I've never seen such an epic thing! <laughs> That's so cool! But guys, check it out! We managed to find ourselves some cryonic or like, just in a natural sense, which is very, very nice. So, let me just go ahead and, uh, dispose of the trash real quick! Or at least try to. Get wrecked. There you go. Area light ore. Alright, so, if my memory serves me co- Oh, hello. Here we go, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, oh. What the? Oh, wow, these guys are nuts. Hey! Ow! Blimey, O'Reilly, ancient ice chunk? Oh, yeah, there we go. We can indeed mine up the cryonic ore. Fantastic. Now, as I remember, it is 16 ores for four bars. So, we're going to need ourselves a pretty decent amount of this stuff. In fact, talking a decent amount. Look at this. There's like two veins right next to each other. Oh, God. I can hear a pig one. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, that didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, Python. Don't die. Don't die through the ice and fire and stuff. And, uh, oh, hey. Ah! Oh, you son of a gun. Even now, the basic traps of Terraria are trying to take me down. This is not cool, Boo Boo. This is not cool. I don't have access to torches. This sucks. Hey, what's going on up here? We've got to sell some more stuff. Hey, the more cryonic all the better, my friends, because we'll be able to make ourselves more cryonic bars and therefore more cryonic stuffs. Maybe even the cryonic armor. I can't believe what it's called. I think it's called shard light or something like that. Or day if I know, it's the Daedalus armor, isn't it? Daedalus. Yeah, there we go. And it just requires the cryonic, ar cryonic bar, sorry. And there we go. All right, so, yeah, we've got 57, which is currently enough to only make 12 bars. So we're definitely going to need some more. So how about we start using this bad boy? Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, you can see we've got ourselves a bunch over here. So let's get over there. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi, how you doing? You're going to give me an accessory, right? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take the tier three loot bag. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not bad. All right, boys, let's continue on. We're gonna try and grab ourselves as many of these bars as we can. Oh my god, so much cryonic ore. How much can we grab before we wind up dying today? Hopefully, we don't die. Um, but I'm gonna keep going. The more cryonic ore I get, the more stuff I can make. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Loads and loads and loads. I really love the fact that this is a light pickaxe, and therefore we've got so much freaking digging speed. It's actually kind of amazing. Right, come on. We've got a little bit down here as well. Oh, mate. Cryonic core. Sure isn't difficult to find, is it? It's amazing. Okay, come on. Come on. Lots and lots and lots. Uh, right, we're now up to over 200 ore. Kind of wasn't expecting to have such numbers, but hey-ho. That's kind of awesome. And uh, there we go. All right, we got a little bit more just here. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Oh, my goodness me. What? The Earth Elementals have changed! They've changed! They've changed! Ah! Get out of here! Okay, um, he has a different sprite now. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> oh my word. Wow, so what's this thing used for? The Ancient Ice Chunk. What? Summons an ice clasp to fight for you. Where? Where is he? Oh wait, I need to get rid of my other dudes. <gasps> what? We got a brand new summon weapon! Yo! <laughs> Oh my god! And we got a frozen chest. Amazing stuff. A few more loot bags. We've got an adept core. The lucky coin! 
And a freaking dead in a stomper! What the hell? Oh my god! Oh, wait, what's this thing used for? Let's have a quick look. Uh, adept bow, adept staff, adept sword. Yeah, 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 pretty standard stuff. Might go ahead and make them at some point in the series, but not quite now because we have some slightly more pressing matters to hand, do we not? Mate, I can't believe we got a lucky coin. That is insanity. Oh, my word. And, of course, the good old Daedalus Stormbow, which is used for the planetary annihilation. We're going to keep that on us because the Daedalus Stormbow, as you guys know, is a fantastic weapon by every stretch of the imagination. The Coro Slime Staff can now go away. Let's put you up in there. And what else have we got? Like, Abyssal Tome? Magic Clock? Dunno. All right, so, Cryonic Bars. Or, yep, there we go. Oh, baby, this is going to be amazing. So, Dark Light. Yeah, there it is, guys. The Dark Light Greatsword. It requires 12 Chronic Bars, 5 Fallen Stars, 1 Soul of Night, 1 Soul of Light. And there it is. It's a damaged one. But apparently, it's Auto Swing. It is. Oh. The projectile split off. What? That is amazing. Right, can we make the Bion Blade as well? Like, is that even a possibility? Uh... Uh, wood sword. Wooden sword. Wood sword? Just a regular wood sword? Box standard wood sword? Okay, no, we could probably go ahead and uh, make it just by buying the freaking resources. Uh, basic furniture. I don't know why the, you know, the normal wood is in here, but, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> it's there for a reason, probably. Right, let's go chuck you in there. We need a wood sword. Yep, there it is. Okay, and now can we make ourselves the buy and blade? Nope, there's probably something else missing. Fair enough. Right, I do kind of want to take a look at this Dark Light Greatsword first, though. So, let me go and give it a quick reforge. Obviously, Legendary is the thing that we'd be looking for. Look at the amount of money we have. There should be no reason to... <laughs> why we can't get ourselves Legendary on this thing. Godly's pretty good. Deadly's pretty good. I mean, you know, Legendary is always going to be the best thing you can get, right? I mean, we've got a lot of money. We've got a lot of money. Should we be able to do this? If not, then we can just go ahead and farm ourselves an absolute ton of freaking mimics and get some money back that way. Shoddy, demonic. Come on, man. Legendary. How many, how many tries is this actually going to take? There we go. Oh, baby. I'm looking forward to this one. All right, bloody edge. I think your time has come, my friend. This is amazing. Look at that. I almost think this is already going to be better than the Biome Blade, in all honesty. But uh, let me just go ahead and uh, remind myself. So, Biome Blade, we require quite a lot of stuff. So, we've got Dirt Block, Sand Block, already got them. Ice Block, yep. Ebonstone, probably already got that. Uh, glowing Mushroom, let's have a look. Glowing Mushroom, already got it. Marble, do we have Marble? I'd be very surprised if we did have Marble. No, we don't have Marble. Interesting. We could buy some, though. You know, no issues. Uh, just some regular old Marble. Pearl sand, snow. Uh, it's probably going to be under this one. Uh, snow bricks. We've got smooth marble. Can we transmutate that back into regular marble? I have no idea. I'm kind of interested to find out, though. Let's go over here real quick. And can we make regular marble? No. Huh. That's interesting. I would have thought... Eh. Eh, that doesn't matter too much. All right, well, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I would really like to give this Dark Light Greatsword a, a good go. Like, maybe we just head underground and see what's going on or something like that. The hasty lucky coin you can get, like, put on there or something. Uh... Like, like there or something. We could just swap them out. And then, of course, we've got the Daedalus Stormbow. One of the greatest vanilla weapons you can get early hard mode. Uh, it would be really cool. If we can get ourselves a good reforge, powerful, keen, powerful, ruthless is pretty good. Yeah, I'm down with that. You know that I'm down with that. Brilliant. My God, we have got a seriously, seriously good setup of weapons here, guys. <laughs> oh, my word. This is so cool, though. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Right, I am going to go ahead and whip out a Zerg potion. Oh, we don't have any Zergs. Okay, well, I could go buy one real quick. I'm going to whip out a Zerg potion. We're going to head underground. We're going to maybe uh, just do some memes and stuff and uh, take down a bunch of dudes. And, uh, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. Maybe we head over to the snow biome. If I know, that's probably a terrible idea. All those Clasper dudes do a lot of damage to you. So I'm thinking that's probably not the greatest idea I've ever had. But, you know, maybe there's something else we could do. Maybe we could just head over to the regular underground area and maybe do some farming down at that little farming area we made in the last episode. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Although, saying that... 
<laughs> oh no, I'm easily distracted. But come on, we've got the da Daedalus. Yeah, Daedalus armor, look. I completely forgot about this. We need to make this. Daedalus leggings and a Daedalus helmet of some description. Like, should we go for magic again? I mean, we could do. Or we could go for helmet, which will give us even more defense. I'm kind of tempted to go for this one first, and then maybe later down the line we can go for the other ones. Oh my word. This is awesome! And uh, reforge this. I mean, menacing or warding would be fantastic. Menacing or warding? Yep, there's menacing. I'll take it. Uh, armored is pretty decent. I mean, that's okay. Come on, buddy. Warding. Okay, right. And this one, come on. There's no reason we can't get either menacing or warding. There it is. All right, so we're going from 60 defense up to 78. An increase of 18. Oh, my word. That's insane. Wow. How much damage does this... Oh, my God. This thing does 95 damage. Ah! Oh my god. Alright guys, let's get down to the underground arena. We're gonna test this bad boy against all of these fools. Alrighty. Let's zerg it up, baby! Oh my goodness me, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> hey, not bad, not bad. Come on then. Oh wow. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, this does a lot of damage. Holy crap. This is kind of nuts, actually. Hey, look at all of you beautiful people. Go on, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Every single one of you. <laughs> Oh, I love the Zerg potion. What are the most brilliant inventions? I keep saying that it is, but I never mean it any less every time I say it. It's such a good thing. It really is. Ladies and gentlemen, though, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And that is going to wrap it up for today. Oh, my goodness me. Um, yeah. This weapon is probably going to be quite good against the freaking Cryogen boss. Oh my word. Absolute insanity. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode.